Hello, I'm Jane Gregory and I'm a teacher of the Alexander Technique. In this session, we are going to explore breathing. Please make yourself comfortable on a carpeted floor or a yoga mat. Ensure your knees are bent with your feet flat on the floor, your elbows bent with your hands resting on your abdomen, and your head on between one to three inches of books. Try out different heights until you find the number of books which are most comfortable for you. People often ask, how can I breathe better? The answer may be frustrating, do nothing. But the fact is, breathing is automatic and happens whether we are thinking about it or not, whether we are awake or asleep, or even if we are unconscious. Breathing only really goes wrong in healthy people when we interfere with it. Interference can take either physical or emotional form, or both. There is little you can do to become a better breather. However, what we will do in this session is become more aware of how we can best get out of our own way and just let the body do its job. When we are stressed, it affects our breathing. It is part of the pattern known as the startle pattern, or the fear reflex, which causes us to stiffen our necks and hold our breath. This unwanted tension can then become part of our normal muscle pattern. So, lying in semi-supine helps to switch off the stress response and allows the muscles to return to a more natural resting length. This, in turn, allows breathing to normalize. Put simply, you don't have to learn anything to become a better breather because your body is just waiting to have the freedom to breathe and will just right itself when you let go. But letting go is not as easy as it sounds. In order to let go, you need more awareness of where you are interfering in the first place. Along this journey into breathing, we will explore how we can raise awareness of and let go of unhelpful patterns. So let's begin. Start by allowing the body to be completely supported by the ground underneath you. Imagine the floor coming up to meet your body as you let go more and more. Take a moment to notice whether your breathing has improved. By asking the weight of the head to really let go onto the surface of the books, your neck muscles can begin to soften and your breathing can start to become more natural. So really imagine the muscles in the deepest part of your neck, under the back of the skull, letting go and allow the release to radiate outwards to the more superficial muscles of the neck. Let the release continue, traveling down into the area between your shoulder blades. Now let your tongue rest and your jaw release so your teeth are not clamped together. Softening your eyes can help to let go of the whole face, so let your eyes fall into their sockets, with the eye muscles releasing out towards your temples. Take a moment to notice if your breathing has changed. Don't worry if you aren't sure if anything has happened. The changes will be very subtle and may be difficult to notice at first. Often when I ask people where their ribs are located, they point to the area above the waist. Although this is correct, what is less well known is that the ribs start right at the top of your body underneath your collarbones. And your ribs are designed to expand with the in-breath and return with the out-breath. It isn't a large movement, because right now you are not moving around so you don't need a lot of oxygen. But you can just allow any movement that wants to happen at the back, sides and front of the body to do so with no interference from you. Now take a few moments to allow the air to come in and out, leaving all of your ribs alone so they can move freely. 
Don't interfere. Just observe this happening. See if you can notice the movement. Breathe in, expansion, breathe out, return. Your lungs are also situated higher inside your ribs than you might think. The lungs start right under the collarbones. Also, your lungs are just as much in the back of your body as they are in the front of the body. Imagine you are breathing into the whole of the lungs, right up to the collarbones and into your back too. You can imagine you are breathing into your shoulder blades. Let's take time to just allow breathing to happen and notice whether it is easier to just leave the whole system alone now that we have built a better picture of the breathing process. Remember, head is resting so the neck can be free. Ribs move freely at the front, back and sides of the body and the air travels into the back and upper chest as well as lower down in the lungs. Now let's explore even further by asking ourselves some questions. Remember to allow the head to rest during the whole process. Can you notice yourself stopping the natural process of breathing from happening anywhere? Are you aware whether you are trying to help this process when you should be doing nothing? Are you sniffing the air through the nose or just allowing it to flow in? Are you tightening the throat or just allowing the air to flow past and into the lungs? Are you pulling the air in from your upper chest? Sometimes, when your breathing improves, it may feel as though the breathing is happening somewhere lower down in the body than the nose, throat and upper chest, as though the body seems to be breathing you. This may be because the diaphragm now has more freedom to do its job. But please don't try to do anything other than observe this, and again, if you don't feel this, don't worry. When you breathe in, the ribs and lungs expand in all directions. Breathe out, they return. The diaphragm attaches along the underside of the ribs and around to the back of the body inside. It's like a floor for your lungs and heart and a ceiling for the other organs underneath it, such as your stomach and intestines. The more freedom you can allow, the easier it will be for your diaphragm to move as you breathe. Breathe in, 
diaphragm flattens and lowers. Breathe out. Diaphragm releases up into a gentle curved or dome shape. Breathe in. Diaphragm flattens and lowers. Breathe out. Diaphragm rises to a dome. Now that we have explored some of the aspects of how we breathe, take a little time to observe all of this movement without interference. Remember, the information about how breathing works is only to help you to become more aware when you interfere with the process. Allow the head to rest on the books like a gentle backdrop to your awareness of breathing. The simple act of lying down in the semi-supine position each day will slowly and surely allow more freedom for your body to breathe itself. Now you have finished this session, take this heightened awareness of your breathing with you as you move around in the rest of your day.